So hello and welcome once again to the Hornby Magazine Workshop. Today you join myself and Mark here on the great central themed layout because we have a brand new wagon for you with the Flangeway Salmon Wagon. So Mark, haven't we seen these before? We have, yes. There was a um, situation uh, a year or so back when these first came out and um, they were launched. And as they were launched, it was discovered that there was, I think about 20 millimeters um, of difference in terms of how the length they came out and actually the length they should have been. Uh, they were under scale. Um, so as a result, um, the project's gone back to the drawing board, and actually, here's the result of the uh, the final product. And it's a lovely model. Yeah, it's very nice, as you can see here. There's um, nine different models available: three engineers black, three olive green, and three of the air braked um, versions in the engineers yellow. Now I noticed we've got all three on the layout. We've got the green, the black, and the yellow. What is the difference other than the colour? Is it era? Uh, yes, the, the, there is a slight difference between these two and these because these ones are air braked, whereas these don't have that um, facility. So there is a difference in underneath the, um, the, the brake equipment and um, uh, cylinders are modelled underneath. So there is, there is a difference in that respect. They also come with um, air pipes. You will be able to see um, if you look carefully at the Buffer beams, uh, they come with the air pipes on the, uh, the buffer beams as well. Um, so there is an element of difference to them, absolutely. Um, these two versions are slightly different, of course. And of course, going to the prototype vehicle, what would they be used for on the network? So they were used for moving, for example, rails, um, as well as track panels. Um, we've got an example of how they might operate here with the um, 3D printed track panels that we've got here. Um, these are an aftermarket item. They don't come with models, um, but this is something that you can um, pick up and, and uh, uh, detail up and then add to the, uh, the models just to give them a little extra sense of purpose. And of course the models are available with and without um, the bolsters. So they'll come without the bolsters in the packaging, sort of like that, and then you can add the bolsters um, like that. So for example, if it was carrying rails, then you'd have the bolsters um, in the wagon there to uh, secure the load. If you're tra having the track panels, you wouldn't have the bolsters on, you just put the, uh, the track panels down. We've just uh, added these just to give you that sense of difference between the, uh, how, how you can model them between the two different types. And of course, I remember them as they are there, actually, with yes. the 3D models. Well, some of especially. them are still in use. Um, there's still examples of the, uh, the salmon wagons uh, over the years since they were, I think they were modified in the 1980s, so that they had air brake equipment. Um, and then subsequently they've had new bogies put on, and I know that um, Flangeway have been working on the ASF bogies that will enable them to do the more modern versions of these. Um, so these are sort of the, the most modern that they can do at present, but then with the new bogies, there's, it unlocks other options um, for the wagons. And then of course, in real life, there have been conversions of these wagons. So you'll see some with cranes on and all sorts of various other elements of uh, on-track plant perhaps um, uh, utilized. But there's quite a few of them still in service um, to this day um, in use. And of course, coming back to the model, of course, you've reviewed it for the latest issue of Hornby magazine. What are some of the highlights in your book? So um, it's got the, the die car chassis, which adds, well, the, the whole um, base basically is a die cast um, molding. Um, you've got the, um, the trusses underneath, and of course, you've got the multi-truss element, which looks really good. You've got the, um, uh, the bolster box underneath as well. Uh, the plate back bogies are very nice as well. Um, and they are free, free running. Um, they do run quite nicely, as you can tell here. We've just added them in with a few other um, air braked wagons, if you like, for this particular 
demonstration. But um, yeah, they've got a nice sense of weight about them. Um, I was surprised by that actually, because they're quite a, um, a, not a simple uh, wagon at all, but they're a simple looking wagon. Yes. But they do have some real weight to them, real presence. They do have some real weight and real presence to them. And actually if I uncouple this one, and you might just be able to tell, it's difficult to tell because of the, the, the paint finish, but there is a, a distinct difference between the two underneath. This one has some of the brake pipe work that you might just be able to make out uh, against the yellow background, and this one doesn't. So there's differences there. And on the decking, you've got that checker plate decking effect as well. So and they're, they're quite nice and weighty. I think they're around, I think it was about 120 grams in weight. So it's a nice, nice sort of feel to them as well. Definitely gives your engine something to pull. It certainly does. And if you want to have a, um, a fairly lengthy engineer's train on your layout, I mean, we've got um, just a few running here. We could probably add these sea cow wagons as well, and maybe a few other wagons on the back. Um, but just to keep it manageable on the layout here today, we've just set it up with that uh, sort of shorter formation, if you like. I do like a good weighty wagon because it, it sort of adds that sort of realism because they're heavier. And it, and it helps them, they don't have that sort of wobble that sometimes the wagons Plastic. can have. Yeah, so, tend to. <laughs> um, sometimes, but they, you know, it's got a nice positive movement about it. So of course we mentioned at the beginning, these are now the correct length. Um, that equates to quite a long wagon. It is a long wagon. Um, we've had them running around here without issue. Um, they run around second radius curves. They run through point work without issue, or certainly they have um, for the purposes of our testing today. Um, yeah, they, they run really nicely. So moving on to the burning questions people will have at home, price and availability. So they're $49.95 each. Um, and I believe they are still available. They were, um, because they were effectively a reworking um, of the original order. Of course, there were many people that ordered them and then the new order, subsequent order, if you like, was used to replenish those stocks in terms of replacing the shorter versions that came out for those that wish to replace them. And then there's been a small number of stocks available for general purpose, which I believe there are still some available. I think one or two of them have now sold through, um, but of the nine variants that are currently available, um, there are still models available through footplate models, um, which is the retail arm of Flangeway, if you like. And I believe there are other versions in development, including the versions with the, um, the new style of bogey. I'd say the more modern, more current version. So, for those at home who are interested in your full review, where can they see it? Uh, you can see it in the latest issue of Hornby Magazine, which is HM183, the September 2022 edition. Details here. And of course, you can read also the full review on keymodelworld.com. So, I think that brings us nicely to the end of another video here in the Hornby Magazine workshop. So, as ever, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Introducing Key Model World, your new online destination for everything railway and scale modelling. Featuring exclusive videos and features, unseen images, step-by-step -step guides, railway history and the latest news. Plus, it's home to our full layout build series. So Mike, we're here again. Another one of your bright ideas. <laughs> yeah, I should stop having these bright ideas to be honest. Join us for the latest content from Key Publishing's modelling titles, Hornby Magazine and Airfix Model World. Sign up today for as little as £3.75 per month, or if you're a magazine subscriber, bolt Key Model World onto your subscription package now. For more details, visit keymodelworld.com.